Hello friends, welcome to Fairs Cloud Learn to Lead. Good morning to all the students. Today we will discuss very important current affairs of 26th of March 2022. You can see two best images of the day, but today we will discuss very important and the most important current fair. So watch this video till last. But I am requesting you all the students that you have to download our application careers cloud from the description box link. After that, log in with the email ID, then click on this crack current fair section to subscribe our current fairs for one year as well as for two years. Both the subscription prices are very much low. But how we are covering this current fair? We are providing you daily section. In the daily, you will see three things. One is detail. Second is question and answer format and third is the quiz section which you can attempt on your application on daily basis. Next is the weekly section. Again, you will receive three things. One is detail. Second is question and answer format and third is the quiz section which you can attempt on your application on weekly basis. Most important section is the monthly and we are providing four type of PDFs. One is detail. Second is question and answer format. Third is best 100 current fair that is also provided in the form of question and answer. And fourth one is pocket PDF which means two liners and the three liners current fair will be provided to you so that you can revise these current fairs in quick format before your exam. But to enhance your performance further, we are providing 20 most important topic wise PDF. It means if you want to cover one particular topic, then you can use this topic wise PDF. If you are a banking student, we are providing three things. One is detail, second is question and answer format and third is the quiz section. But all these three things are only related to banking and economy. And you can attempt this quiz only on our application on monthly basis. If you want to cover all the past current fair of 2021 just from single PDF, then you can use this exam PDF. We are providing detailed budget and economic survey. Expected question and answer will be provided to you so that you can recall that examiner can make these type of questions from budget and economic survey. If you are appearing for your respective state exam, then we are also providing you state current fair and we are covering every state and union territory. So all these things comes under only one subscription. You have to just download our application careers cloud from the description box link. After that, log in with the email ID, then click on this crack current fair section to subscribe our current fairs for one year as well as for two years. Both the subscription prices are very much low. But if you are a new student, you are just starting your preparation, then I am advising you to subscribe for two years. And we are providing 10% extra discount on both subscriptions if you use this code ASH10. And if you have any query, you can email us or you can call us on this number or email ID. So let's start 26th of March 2022 current fairs. But first of all, you have to like this video. You have to share this video as maximum as possible. And you have to subscribe this channel if you're new on this platform. And join our telegram group from the description box link so that you can receive the notification on time. Here is the first question. Who has been honored with the ABLE prize for 2022? First of all, you have to remember what is ABLE prize. So the prize is named after Norway's greatest mathematician named as Niels Henrik. Full name is Niels Henrik Abel. So that's why this prize is called Abel Prize. And it is the highest honor given in the field of mathematics. And Abel Prize is the top honor in mathematics being similar to the Nobel Prize for the Sciences. And it is being awarded for the major contribution in the field of math. And it was established by Norwegian Parliament in the year of 2002. And this year 2002 is an occasion of 200. 200th anniversary of Niels Henrik Abel birth. So you have to just remember this is after the name of Niels Henrik Abel who was great mathematician of Norway and this award was established by the Norwegian parliament and this is awarded annually this is awarded annually in the field of mathematics and this year this award goes to very famous American mathematician Dennis P. Sullivan. So you can also remember this the award was given for his groundbreaking contribution to the topology in its broadest sense and in particular its algebraic, geometric and dynamical aspect. But you have to remember what is topology. The topology is a field of mathematics which was born in the 19th century and it deals with properties of surface that do not change when they are deformed. So that's why he was given this Abel Prize 2022. And the Abel Prize is also known as International Prize of Mathematics or Nobel Prize in the field of mathematics. And in 2007, you can remember Indian American Srinivasa S.R. Vardhan. Srinivasa S.R. Vardhan was awarded with the Abel Prize and he was very famous Indian American mathematician. And he was awarded for the contribution in the probability theory, in particular for creating a unified theory of large deviations. So you can just remember the name if you want. In 2007, he was awarded. But first of all, you have to remember the Abel Prize and this is given to very famous mathematician all over the world and it is given by Norwegian Parliament or you can say one academy which is known as Norwegian Academy of Science and Letters. 
and this year this award goes to Dennis P. Sullivan and he belongs to United States of America. Moving to next question. Next question is in the very important question section but first of all you have to like this video, share this video as maximum as possible and please subscribe this channel if you are new on this platform and join our telegram group from the description box link. Here is the question. Who is appointed as the temporary or interim managing director and CEO of CSB Bank Limited? CSB Bank Limited and Reserve Bank of India has approved the appointment of Prale Mondal. So answer of this question is C. Prale Mondal as the temporary managing director and CEO of CSB Bank Limited and he is appointed for the time period of three months. Appointed for the time period of three months. And the appointment is for three month period with effective from the 1st of April 2022 or till the appointment of a regular managing director and CEO is made. He is currently sub serving as the deputy managing director of CSB Bank since his appointment in the year of 2021. Why he is appointed as the temporary managing director and CEO? Because earlier this position MD and CEO lies with Rajendran Chinna Virappan. You can remember if you want Virappan. But he announced his decision to retire early due to health concern. That's why RBI appointed temporary managing director and CEO of this bank, CSB Bank and name of this person is Prale Mondal. You can also see here the picture of Prale Mondal as a temporary managing director and CEO of this bank. And what is the full form of this CSB? CSB earlier known as Catholic Syrian Bank and it is one of the oldest private sector bank in India. And its MD and CEO currently is Rajendran Chinna Virappan because uh, he will retire on 31st of March 2022 and on 1st of April this Prale Mondal will assume charge as a managing director and CEO. And this bank was established in the year of 1920 and its headquarter is in Kerala. Headquarter is in Kerala. Moving to next question. Shaktikan Das inaugurated the Reserve Bank of India Innovation Hub in which city or it is also known as Reserve Bank Innovation Hub. So this is very important because this is started by Reserve Bank of India and it is inaugurated by Governor of Reserve Bank of India Shaktikan Dasji and it is inaugurated in Bengaluru or Bangalore. So answer of this question is B. Examiner can ask the state then answer of this question is Karnataka. So it will encourage financial innovation through an institutional setup. So you can see this is Reserve Bank Innovation Hub and RBA launched this innovation hub with Chris Gopala Krishnan as the chairman of Reserve Bank Innovation Hub. This is very very important. So it has been set up as a section 8 under the section 8 under the Companies Act of 2018 with an initial capital contribution of 100 crore rupees and it is a fully owned subsidiary of RBI. So there are three questions. One it is full is fully owned subsidiary of Reserve Bank of India. Total capital contribution is 100 crore and it comes under the section 8 of the Companies Act of 2013. And fourth most important question under this question is Senapati Chris Gopalakrishnan, the co-founder and the former chairman of the Infosys was appointed as the Reserve Bank of India Innovation Hub first chairman. This is most important, this can be asked by examiner. And the hub aims to promote innovation across the financial sector by leveraging technology because it will encourage financial innovation through an institutional setup and this reserve bank innovation hub will be guided and managed by governing council led by chairman. Chairman is uh, Chris Gopalakrishnan and there will be nine other eminent persons from industry and academia as its members. So total it is a 10 member body, nine are the eminent persons and from industry and academia and one is the chairman. Still MD and CEO is not appointed, this is pending so we will definitely cover when it is appointed and it promotes access to financial services and products for the low income population in the country. So this is Reserve Bank Innovation Hub specially to encourage the financial innovation and its headquarters set up in Bengaluru, Karnataka. Move into next question. Vasong 17 intercontinental ballistic missile was test fired by which country? So very simple question you have to just remember the keyword Vasong 17 and this is recently launched by North Korea. So North Korea has test fired its biggest yet intercontinental ballistic missile Vasong 17 and it is as per the orders of the supreme leader Kim Jong Un. I think all the students know his name. So you can see here, North Korea confirms test firing of the biggest intercontinental ballistic missile named as Vasong-17 and in North Korea's it is known as Monster Missile. 
So you can see here the missile flew 1090 kilometer, almost 1100 kilometer at a maximum altitude of 6248 or 6250 kilometer and hit a target in the Sea of Japan after traveling 67.5 minutes in air. This is tested by North Korea and total diameter of this missile is 2.5 meters and when it is fully loaded, its mass is 80,000 to 110,000 kg. And earlier, Vasong 15, which was tested in November 2017, reached an altitude of about 4475 km. Now its altitude is 6250 km. Earlier it was 4475 km and it covered 950 km, but new version completed almost 1100 km. And this 950 km covered under 53 minutes but now its traveling time is 67.5 minutes so that's why it is new version and it is known as Vasong 17 just remember this is North Korea moving to next question but you can remember North Korea's currency is North Korean won and supreme leader is Kim Jong-un moving to next question what is the name of American computer scientist who invented the graphics interchange format or known as GIF passed away and answer of this question is Steve Wilhite. So answer of this question is D. So American computer scientist Steve Wilhite who invented the graphics interchange format and this was invented in the year of 1987 has passed away due to COVID-19 complications in United States of America and he belongs to USA. That's why you can see he was very famous American computer scientist and he was one of the chief architect, one of the chief architect of the AOL. AOL is known as American Online Company, one of the largest internet access company. And Steve Wilhite was the engineering lead of the team of CompuServe, an American online service provider which developed GIF. And uh, this GIF was invented in the year of 1987 and you can also see a GIF image of Steve Wilhite. And he was awarded a Lifetime Achievement Award at the Webe Awards in the year of 2013 and the Oxford American Dictionary named GIF. GIF as the world of the year of 2012. This is by Oxford Dictionary. So you have to just remember who was the inventor of graphics interchange format. This is known as GIF and this person was Steve Wilhite who recently passed and examiner can also ask the abbreviation of GIF. So remember it is graphics interchange format. Moving to next question. India's first ever national center of excellence to train athletes in the mountain terrain biking and bicycle motocross established at which place? So again static question, this is Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports in collaboration with Department of Youth Services and Sports of Government of Himachal Pradesh set up India's first ever Sports Authority of India SAI National Center of Excellence to train athletes in the mountain terrain biking and bicycle motocross in Shimla in Himachal Pradesh. So answer of this question is C. So in simple word you have to remember one national center of excellence is established in Shimla, Himachal Pradesh. It is for the athletes which belongs to mountain terrain biking and bicycle motocross. So you can see here it is set up in the collaboration with Department of Youth Services and Sports of the Government of Himachal Pradesh and the National Center of Excellence is set up with an aim to provide world class training facilities to Indian cyclists to compete for the 18 Olympic medals in the disciplines of the MTB and BMX. It stands for Mountain Terrain Biking and Bicycle Motocross. And this National Center of Excellence is a high altitude like 2000 feet above the sea level world class infrastructure to train 200 cyclists with a state of art sports science high performance center one cross country olympics level track one bmx or you can say bicycle motocross track one state of art indoor gymnasium and indoor setup with virtual trainers and coaches of the international repute so it will definitely train the athletes who belongs to these two games one is known as mountain terrain biking and the second one is bicycle motocross but you have to remember sports authority of india its headquarters is in new delhi its agency executive is sandeep pradhan sandeep pradhan he is a indian revenue service officer so moving to next question center government has set up a target of rupees dash for the new developmental financial institution named as national bank for financial infrastructure and development this question is specially for the banking students and remember exact data Answer of this question is 1 trillion rupees. Answer of this question is D. So the center government has set a target of 1 trillion for a new developmental finance institution named as National Bank for Financial Infrastructure and Development and it is specially for sanctioning loans to the infrastructure sector 
in the year or in the financial year of 2023 and it will start its operation from the quarter one of the financial year of 23 it means it will start its operation from april 2022 and you can remember it is sanctioning loans to the infrastructure sector in financial year 23 because in october 2021 the government had appointed appointed kundapur Vaman kamath or kv kamath kv kamath as the chairman of this developmental financial institution which is known as national bank for financial infrastructure and development you can remember about this organization i already covered this question the setting up of this organization was announced in the financial year 22 union budget and it came into force on 19th of april 2021 and the center government has infused 20,000 crore rupees in this organization or institution and an addition of 5,000 crore has been given as a grant. And along with investing in infrastructure project, it will issue debt securities and promote securitization of loan portfolios of the companies engaged in the development and financial of infrastructure. So this is very, very important. And remember, Ministry of Finance declared and formed this organization. So Union Minister is named Lassi Taraman. Constituency is Karnataka and she is currently the member of Rajya Sabha. Moving to next question. Which bank teamed up with the Reserve Bank Innovation Hub to promote financial inclusion of women? We already covered this question that Reserve Bank Innovation Hub is established in Bengaluru and this Reserve Bank Innovation Hub teamed up with the bank to promote financial inclusion for the women, especially with technology. And answer of this question is all of these. D is the answer. It means Federal Bank, Bank of Broda, Axis Bank, even one financial institution which is known as Avanti Finance teamed up with the Reserve Bank Innovation Hub, which is a subsidiary of the Reserve Bank of India to promote financial inclusion of the women through technology. And they will work as scale-up partners for the second phase of Swear Nari, Tech Sprint Program. You have to remember what is the meaning of Swear Nari. Swear Nari stands for Swear Nirbhar Nari or Self Reliant Lady. And the Reserve Bank Innovation Hub will host this Swear Nari Tech Sprint Program for the women from 18th of April to 22nd of April 2022. And the program will specifically connect financial technological companies, financial service providers, innovators, subject matter experts to collaborate at one place. And it will provide smart, creative and sustainable solutions supporting women advancement in the financial growth and independence for women owned enterprises. So just to promote the women entrepreneurship and it is also to provide financial inclusion for the women. This is Reserve Bank Innovation Hub, Federal Bank, Bank of Broda, Axis Bank and Avanti Finance. So you have to just remember the question as same as in slide. So the main objective of this program to advance digital financial inclusion for women and to create digital solutions for bridging the gender gap in India. Moving to next question. Indo-German Science and Technology Center signed a memorandum of understanding with which company for scientific cooperation and partnership. Again, this is static question. You can remember this question as same as in slide and answer of this question is Tata Steel. So B is the answer. So under this MOU, there will be a joint collaborative research and innovation framework to facilitate new technology and development conduct thought leadership workshops and support human capital development and their collaboration will also focus on innovation in the areas of climate change, greening of the industrial sector, emerging technologies in the new material. And you can also remember this Indo-German Science and Technology Center also signed a letter of intent with BASF Chemicals Limited and this partnership will foster science and technology led innovations through Indo-German research and technology networking and research in public private partnership mode and this BASF chemicals limited will jointly support this center or uh, Indo-German center industrial fellowship under the category of PhD industrial fellowship and postdoctoral fellowship by providing exposure to these young Indian researchers at the BASF facility in Germany. So just remember letter of intent is signed with the BASF so that they can guide they can provide the programs to the Indian students and second is with Tata Steel so that they can uh, focus on the innovation in the areas of climate change, greening of the industrial sector, emerging technology in the new material. And this is Indo-German Science and Technology Center. So just remember this question as same as in slide. Moving to next question. Which state signed a memorandum of understanding with NIPER? What is the meaning of NIPER? This is National Institute for Pharmaceutical Education and Research, Mohali, as knowledge partner for medical device park. Again, static question and this state is Himachal Pradesh. So answer of this question is B. 
So the government of Himachal Pradesh signed a memorandum of understanding with National Institute of Pharmaceutical Education and Research, Mohali, which is situated in Punjab, as knowledge partner for upcoming medical device park, which will be situated in Nalagarh in Himachal Pradesh. Nalagarh is exact is in Solan. And you can also remember this Himachal Pradesh State Industry Development Corporation Limited is the state implementing agency for conception, for development or for the execution of the medical device path. And an investment outreach program will be organized with investors across India and the countries. And a center of excellence in the medical devices park will be set up by Naipur Mohali and which will provide industry academia linkage. So you have to just remember one industrial park or medical device park will be set up in Nalagad in Solan in Himachal Pradesh and some expertise will be provided by this National Institute of the Pharmaceutical Education and Research Mohali. That's why Himachal Pradesh government tied up with this organization and Himachal Pradesh Chief Minister is Jairam Thakurji, Jairam Thakurji and Governor is Rajender Vishwanath Arlekarji. Moving to next question it is from picture tripartite agreement there are three organizations if you want to remember you can first organization is international center for integrated mountain development second is surkhetam dairy cooperative limited and third one is nepal dairy private limited all these three organization will promote yak dairy enterprise to sustain the age old yak herding culture in the highlands of eastern nepal so they will promote yak dairy enterprise in Nepal. Just remember the question as same as in this slide. They will collaborate in processing product diversification and market linkage for yak products. So moving to next question. This is dare to eradicate tuberculosis. So on the occasion of World Tuberculosis Day, which was observed on 24th of March 2022, Dr. Jitender Singh, Union Minister of State, Independent Charge of Science and Technology, launch the data driven research to eradicate TB which is known as dare to eradicate TB. It is umbrella tuberculosis program of department of biotechnology and India aims to reach the goal of tuberculosis mukt Bharat or tuberculosis free India by the year of 2025. This is five year ahead of the target of tuberculosis set by sustainable development goals under the United Nations development program. So you have to just remember this is dare to eradicate tuberculosis. Erad stands for eradicate tuberculosis. And the program was launched during the step up to end tuberculosis 2022 summit organized on the occasion of the World Tuberculosis Day 2022. And this day is observed on 24th of March 2022. And it is inaugurated by Dr. Jitender Singh. And dare to eradicate to a tuberculosis program will be based on India's data and the formation of a genome sequencing consortium for whole genome sequencing tuberculosis surveillance. So we have to end this tuberculosis. We have to end this tuberculosis by the year of 2025. This is the target of Indian government. So just you have to remember the name of this program. This is dare to erad tuberculosis. Moving to next question. It is in the important question section. You have to like this video, share this video as maximum as possible and please subscribe this channel if you are new on this platform and join our telegram channel from the description box link so that you can receive the notification on time. There is the question. Center government has extended the timeline for the startups to dash to convert debt investment in a company into equity shares. So the center government has extended the timeline for the startups to 10 years. Earlier this was 5 years to convert debt instruments or the investment in a company into equity shares from the day when initial convertible note was issued. So you can see here, this is Department of Industrial and Promotion or Department of Promotion in the Industry and Internal Trade extends timeline for converting debt into equity for startups to 10 years. Earlier it was 5 years. So an investor can invest in a startup using convertible notes like debt or the loan instruments. So these are repayable by the startup at the option of the investor or can be converted into equity shares after the company has achieved some milestone. It means you can take back your money you are provided in the loan instrument but you can also convert into the equity shares as your choice. Now the period of this conversion is set to 10 years earlier this was 5 year. So this extension will secure the startup still further funding and from the impact of COVID-19 and liquidity issue. Just remember exact timeline. This is 10 year earlier. It was five years. Move into next question. Next question is in the one liner important point. Here is the first point. GIF inventor Steve Wilhite passed away due to COVID-19. We already covered this question. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory confirms 5000 exoplanets beyond our solar system. 
So National Aeronautics and Space Administration Propulsion Laboratory on 21st of March 2022 have confirmed the existence of 5000 plus exoplanets beyond our solar system. And the 5000 exoplanets found includes 30% gas giants like uh, many times larger than the Jupiter or Saturn, even hotter than some stars and 31% super earth like large rocky sized earth and 35% Neptune like similar in size of Neptune or the Uranus and 4% are like terrestrial planets like small rocky planets similar to earth. So this is by the NASA. So next is SBA science co-lending pact with the five housing development housing finance corporations for affordable housing. So State Bank of India largest lender has entered into a co-lending partnership with the five housing finance companies to provide affordable housing plans to the underserved and unserved sections of the society as per the Reserve Bank of India guidelines. Next is IMD. This is India's Meteorological Department launches Climate Hazards ebook and Vulnerability e Atlas on the World Meteorological Day. And the Vulnerability e Atlas is provided on the official website of the Indian Meteorological Department. And the e Atlas would help disaster management agencies take preventive steps. So you can just remember this news as from the line. International Day for the Achievers 2022 observed on 24th of March. So this is International Day of Achiever and it is annually observed across the globe on 24th of March and it is to celebrate achievers and their strong sense of purpose and confidence. And the day also supports the making great efforts to become an achiever. And uh, the day acknowledges the efforts and contribution of the genius minds who, who thought out of the box and did great work for the development of the society. So just remember this is International Day of Achievers on 24th of March. Next, International Day of Remembrance of the Victims of Slavery and Transatlantic Slave Trade 2022 observed on 25th of March. Very lengthy day. So, United Nations International Day of Remembrance of Victims of Slavery and Transatlantic Slave Trade is annually observed across the globe on 25th of March to commemorate the memory of the victims of transatlantic slave trade. And the day also offers the opportunity to honor and remember the people who have suffered and died because of the slavery system. So now we are moving to next question, but you can also see here International Day of Remembrance of the Victims of Slavery and Transatlantic Slave Trade, 25th of March. Next is the question of the day, very simple question, which of the following is not included in the e-banking? It means you can say online banking, like credit card is a part of e-banking, net banking is also a part of e-banking, even ATM also works on the e-banking platform. So A, B, C is the right option, but we have asked not included in the e-banking, so answer of this question is none of these, D is the answer. So now we are moving to the question of the day. Question of the day is which country issued first purely plastic note? Again static question but very important question. We are talking about purely plastic note. So you have to tell me answer only in the comment box. I am waiting your answer. But please like this video, share this video as maximum as possible and please subscribe this channel if you are new on this platform and join our telegram group from the description box link and press this bell button so that you can receive the notification on time. But it is a fierce cloud promise that it will boost your confidence in the general awareness section definitely but don't take life so much serious life is fun always be happy like this smiley thank you guys take care and bye bye